I'm Jenny and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do the orange marmalade. We'll be canning that up just like we did the lemon ginger marmalade yesterday. Um, I promise I'd get it done and we're going to do it real quick today. So first off I want to say this recipe also comes out of the Ball Complete Book of Home Preserving and this recipe is on page 98. I love this book. It has the best recipes in it for gems and jellies. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do, and I've already done it with most of them here. I think a regular orange got in the little blood orange category at uh, Sprouts. We're going to cut off the ends of the orange, of all of them. And this is three pounds of blood oranges. And you score the peels and just take the peels off and throw them all in a pot. So now we've got all the peels in the pot. I'm just gonna cover these with water and I'm going to bring them to a boil for 10 minutes. Our 10 minutes up was up um, on the first pot here. So I strained the orange, I strained the orange peels and I've covered them with fresh water and I'm bringing them up to a boil again. So it's kind of on a medium high to bring to a boil and then we boil them on a medium low for 10 minutes. And as soon as this starts to boil, I'll start my timer and we'll be back. Okay, our second 10 minute timer has gone off. I'm gonna turn this off. It looks like our peels are getting nice and soft where we can start to pull this white off of them. So I am going to drain these and we're gonna get started with the second part. On the next part of this, we're just pulling out sections of the blood orange, and I've done most of them already. This is my last one. I'm just kind of pulling out, cutting them and pulling the sections out. Whoa, <laughs> that was a big section all at once. <laughs> Trying to keep the membrane intact here. I'm letting all the juices come out and squeezing them. Squeezing the membrane as I go to make sure I get all the juice. section. Okay, and I'm just going to squeeze the membrane, get all the good juice out. Okay, I am going to toss the pulp, all these membranes, and then we're going to get busy on the peels. Okay, here I've got all of our peels, and I let them cool after they boiled because I didn't want to handle them like that. So this white pith will just scrape right out of them. It makes it really soft. You just have to be careful not to tear the peel up when you're doing this. Because that is not hard to do. Okay, so I've taken that out and then we're left with just the peel. I'm going to take my knife and just run it over it for some nice little strips, a julienne. So now they're all cooked and julienned. They're so cooked they're falling apart for my <laughs> 20 minutes, but that's okay. They're going to break apart in the jam anyway. I'm going to find a little bowl to put those in. So I will pop them right in here when I'm done. I'm going to do the rest and then we'll be back. I have got the orange peels finished. So all the orange peels are julienned. They're really soft now, but we are going to throw them in the pot with the orange segments and four cups of water. I'm going to put it on high and just bring it to a boil. All right, when it's at a boil, I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit and let it do a, a light boil simmer, kind of on 
medium low for 30 minutes and I'll stir occasionally during that 30 minutes. All right, our timer is up. I'm going to turn the stove off. All right, for the next part of this, I need to make sure that we have six cups all together. So I'm going to measure out six cups. I'm just going to throw it all right into this measure here. So that's with the juice and everything. Okay, so everything together is only four cups. So I need to add in enough water to make six. So I need two cups of water. All right, two cups of water. Stir this together. And I'm going to pull three cups out of here. So three cups worth of juice and some of the fruit. And we're gonna divide it into two pans. three cups and I've got another pan over here I'm going to put that in I am now going to start both of these burners on kind of a medium high here as soon as these pans come to a boil I'm going to put the sugar in process. Here I said quick video. This is totally not quick. <laughs> it's an all-day event. Don't do this when you have something else to do during the day. That is for sure. These are starting to boil so I'm going to put the three cups of sugar in for both of them. So there's a half or two halves sorry making a cup. And then there's my other two cups. I need to find myself a smaller sugar container. Holy cow. I need to work out just to get the sugar. All right, sugar is in. So I'm gonna keep stirring both of these pots and we're gonna bring them up to a boil and we're gonna boil them for about 12 minutes until they start to gel. So as soon as we are at the gel stage with the hard boiling, so a hard boil 12 minutes, we'll be back. All right, so I've turned the burner off on this one. I probably should this one too. Eh, we have about 30 more seconds, but uh, this is gelling up already, and I don't want it to get too thick, because that's no good either. So these are done. Finally. We're gonna start canning. I've had my jars in the canner for about a half an hour. I'm just gonna put all my stuff together here and get ready. All right, so I'm just bringing my jars out. I'm gonna leave a quarter inch head space. And I need a paper towel to clean my rims. Okay. And also a pot holder. 
are so hot. So this says that it should make about six eight ounce jars. So I did put seven in there just to be on the safe side. to debubble that one. I'm going to have to pull it back out. <laughs> Make sure you debubble. Don't forget that part. It's an important Have a different set. I don't think I'm going to get seven out of here anyway, and I do have an extra lid in there just to be on the safe side. All right, this is my last one, and I did get exactly six eight ounce jars out of this batch, exactly what the recipe said I would. Okay. All right, everybody's in the hot tub. I'm gonna go ahead and lower them and turn up my heat. to a boil we are going to process them for 10 minutes and then after the 10 minutes I turn the heat off bring them up and let them sit still in the basket for five minutes before bringing them out my timer is going off I'm gonna pull these out I'm gonna pull all of these out of the canner they're already pinging away ceiling look how beautiful those are Sometimes if you get a batch of blood oranges that aren't quite deep enough red, your marmalade won't be very deep red. But these are beautiful. They're a blush. Look how gorgeous that is. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today while I was making my blood orange marmalade. So beautiful. I have plenty of uses for this this summer. Please like, subscribe, and share. And now that I have cleaned up my canning mess, it's time to mess up my kitchen making dinner. I thought I was getting out of this kitchen. I'm not. <laughs> not anytime soon. Have a good night. See you next time.